Okay, so now let's continue from the next section, which is a feature section for the product. But one comment is keep coming in my video from one of my audience is how we can find the button width from Figma file. So Figma actually does not support padding or anything like that. If you click this button element, okay, and then there is some things called this type of options given, okay, 10, like if I increase it, as you can see, if I click enter, uh, if I click these elements uh, to something like this, it will not work. Okay, so this is the whole, um, it, this is just a margin, but not the whole frame. Okay, but button is this. And if you see the button, it is clip content or something like that. They have given this way. Uh, so understanding the Figma, it is width and height based. So what you can do if you want to know what is the padding used for top and bottom, you can add extension called light shot. Okay, light shot into our PC. And if I enable this or use shortcut control shift Q, then what I can do, as you can see, if I can drag this something like this, as you can see uh, from top uh, until the text, it's 33 or 32 same i will do Control shift q for shortcut from left side of the box until the text it is 63 okay so this how you can measure that like in the top it was 32 as if i, if I click 32 and in the left and right it is 63 or 60 uh, but we have used 20 20 and 80 80 but if i want i can increase it from my own view this is what i think looking nice but if you think you, you want to use exactly same like this then we can do that but there will be a line height things which we need to fix line height is 32 but if you think this line height is too large you can decrease it to 32 or something like that then this will be better okay so for me i am i am okay with it and i will not touch it anymore uh, because whatever we have currently is looking good and perfect so i will click on copy style and i will click on paste this style okay so this how using light shot you can try to measure what padding they have used okay and with your um, some calculation or prediction you can also give some padding margin which will also look good so it will not create an, any issue so let's continue uh, from the next section uh, so which was a feature section if you see uh, where we have given the product feature like enhanced recovery this type of things and there will be a slider maybe there will be another one total five but four will be showed total six four will be showed or three will be showed in the screen so this is the uh, and this is the objective of that section okay and in the mobile if we as i said every time just check what it looks like in mobile so pretty simple it will be one at a time in mobile so now let's begin so first of all let's come here and let's click on add element and first of all let's take one section column one section and then if i see 50 and 50 should be the padding as we are using uh, throughout the page and then for the section it 1300 and this will be the uh, okay sorry for the disturbance so now let's continue we have given the width that we are using and if i click now we have a headline in the left right so let's put that headline and is it the same size 48 like before we are using so let's copy this one from here okay just duplicate it and drag this in the left okay and then just copy that copy that now it will be larger right so what i will do i will click this row and within this row i will duplicate it once okay and in the right side we will delete it okay it is 48 or larger than that it is 54 so let's make it 58 okay now let's decrease the spacing so it will be uh, into two lines so for this let's delete the margin so perfect okay so now we have sliders so we have used sliders before so click on slideshow 
and we will take the blank one under this so perfectly working then click on margin 20 okay then uh, let's take uh, five slider okay then go to slideshow from this tab as you already discussed this is a very important tab uh, okay uh, let's make four to be showed right out of five so it will not look same but we'll make something similar so let's make uh, this one not none i think this one and then go to and then give some padding of at least 40 okay now if we see the design we have some columns with some backgrounds right so click on this and this is the color so go to column and give it some background color okay so this is good and for this uh, click on this and this is the color for the section as well so click the section go to bg and paste it here good now let's see uh, we have an icon and some paragraphs so for the icons okay for this we have some okay we have some uh, border as well with icon with a text okay 24 pixel and then 16 pixel 24 pixel and 16 pixel okay so uh, click on the columns and then what you need to do we need to drag an image first of all here then click general click select and then upload okay and if i upload it this is the image that we are looking for okay so let's upload it so click on it and it will be uploaded but there is an issue the image and if i show show you this is the frame this is the frame uh, okay so let's make it something larger so we can see what is going on here so it contains this group under this group there will be the whole image so click this group and then click export unless you are getting only the shapes not the eyes of the icon so click on it again click on select upload and then within i this will be uploaded and if we see it is 57 so let's click click on save and let's click on no now it will be 57 click on the column and there will be some paddings uh, so as i said you can uh, measure the paddings using the light shot tool so okay if we click on it uh, this type of things is showing so i can click on it and then i can go to padding panel and i can give some 18 pixel padding and then we have a 24 pixel headline but this was 14 but, but let's copy this under this image uh, okay let's make it left align let's make it 24 okay let's make it 20 30 so this is bold so let's make it bold bold is looking large much much bolder okay so we'll make it semi bold okay perfect then we have some paragraph so drag the paragraph a 16 pixel so go to general control a control v okay so let's click on styling and 15 okay and then we need to give some border so click on the border and then decrease it to only with border width so now it is more than perfect very close let's keep it 15 as well okay now let's make it mobile responsive also because if we are working this perfectly one time then this is the same design this is the same thing we need to 
go to slideshow from the top panel and decrease the margin to 10 same layout we have for others so let's go to mobile and check how this looks let's make it left align and it should be 18 15 for paragraph let's make it uh, 24 or 22 it will be also 15 okay mm, okay so let's click this column so you don't need is this in mobile so let's hide it and let's make it left align not in the middle and let's give it 30 pixel not 30 let's make it 25 and for line height let's 32 will be good and for the section let's keep 20 and 20 and for the slideshow let's again select the slideshow and remove the spacing and if there is any bottom padding or something let's remove it because there is too much rows and which contain giving so much spacing okay and for the bottom i think we can also reduce some spacing that's good okay so if you see mobile it is there is more is less spacing there is available so if we go to mobile so if i click on mobile Let's click the raw and let's give it some margin, negative margins. Okay, let's go to all device. Let's click on it, go to slideshow. Let's make it zero. Okay, now click on it, go to slideshow and go to general. And now what we will do, we will delete the rest all of them and duplicate the fast. Duplicate the fast one times and this is a bug. Uh, five times okay and go to slideshow and now display setting should be four and item spacing should be uh, 15 okay 15 this will look good okay now only things you need to do is replacing the icons text images and everything okay other than that our layout is ready then we have buttons and these things okay so now let's cover this so same click on the buttons and then just duplicate press the button under here go to styling and make it center line and then we have this also click on this block and drag this and paste it under the buttons click on styling and then it is display flocks we just need to make it justify content center and we don't need icons as i can see here there is no icon available here is icon available but uh, it is the color of the golden but let us put it that way whatever color currently have we don't need to worry too much about it okay so this section is also done and if we see mobile responsive it should be automatically mobile responsive should not be any issue yes and that is the case and to space reducing the space let's give some minus margin of 20. so now let's click save and if we see this in tablet it should be should be okay but let's uh, make it send left align this text go to slideshow let's make it two at least let's give some spacing to 15 that will be perfect okay good and then for this let's make it 30 top 30 bottom okay then this looks also looks good okay 30 30 this is perfect perfect okay okay so let's do some setting here for laptop device so i think three will good and for item spacing let's make it similar 15 okay that is good now let's go to all device and now click save and publish so this section is also completed now let's move to the next section which is this one okay so <clears throat> okay so this how it looks perfect 
it is under the same section as you can see the bg is covering from all above to this right so covering this section together uh, okay so this also looks good no problem mm, yes okay perfect so now let's cover this uh, okay so for this again we need to take two row right so two row will be taken and then we have a background color uh, for that row so this is the background color for that row so go to styling put that background color then we have an image this image this is the image but where is this batch so let's cover this is the group of the image right so let's export that part part let's click on export now click on add element and click on add element and we need to drag an image element here so let's drag it into the right column go to general click on select image upload image and click on upload okay okay perfect so click on select now you can see there is some spacing in the top and left so click on the row go to general and let's make it zero first of all so now the, all the spacing will be gone then we have this text uh, with 36 pixel right 36 pixel so let's duplicate this one into that right then let's copy this and paste it here go to styling and let's make it 36 36 and for line heights let's make it 36 to 42 and for this what was the line height 48 and 60 okay for this let's click this column and let's give it some margin okay as you can see it is a uh, step uh, broke into one line we can give more margin to broke this to multiple lines then we have this section so if i click this this is the icon or frame okay mm, yes icon or frame so let's uh, click on it and let's click on export first of all and then we need to click on and drag this under here and then just uh, resize this and click on add element again image and drag this and then click on select image and upload the image so we have uh, not only the So we just need the icons to be exported okay so let's export the icons only click on upload and now icons will be exported and for that let's click on this this is the bg okay okay for this let's click this and then go to styling and paste the background color here and for this go to general click on no okay then click on this row make everything in the middle okay now uh, uh, go to this and let's make it so this is not working at custom so click on delete so click the row deleted okay and continue from here okay so we'll click on add element and then what i will do 